Um, talk to me initially about Theresa May, Stephen, this interjection about softening or not softening our modern slavery laws. She's concerned that people might slip through the gaps. I suspect the vast majority of the public are concerned with men from Albania taking the mick. I think most people are concerned about mm. any of those who come over here as illegal immigrants and claim asylum when they don't have genuine asylum claims. And particularly when we look at the Albanians who we know are very well connected to the uh, crime syndicates, mm. that's what the NCIS is telling us, and they're using the Modern Slavery Act as an excuse to be able to remain here. The thing about Theresa May, though, he's, she's always been relatively soft on the issue mm of cr uh, crime versus uh, illegal immigration. She's been soft mm. on how to work with immigration. But more importantly for this, this was a policy that she championed whilst she was Prime Minister, helped push it through, yeah. and I think it's about her legacy. If I this, suspect If this it, goes, yeah. she hasn't really got much of her time as Prime Minister in. No, exactly that. So, I mean, just in terms of the actual finer details of this, or the law, <clears throat> if you will, if, is there not a way of doing it of rewriting the law or, 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 or modernising it, where we can make sure that people who are the victims of modern slavery, so people in you know, very abusive domestic relationships in the UK at the moment, or people in sex work in the UK at the moment, all of those people are still protected at the same time as people coming over in dinghies with the intention of dealing drugs on the streets of Britain are not protected. No, I, I agree. Look, I, for once, I agree with Theresa May on this issue. OK. Um, it's a very complex issue, modern slavery, and each case is exceptional on its fact. You can't bundle everyone into one area and say, well, they're all uh, gaming the system. Um, the problem is, is the way that it's considered. Once someone claims that they've been trafficked, there is an automatic kick-in of the national referral mechanism. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem, because you may have an Albanian who's claiming asylum, and his claim <coughs> to be certified that's clearly unfounded because he comes from a safe country, and that's fine. At the same time, that person can then say, I've been trafficked. Yes. Then you've got to run through the national referral mechanism, which could take years <laughs> to do. But can that not be reformed in any way without it making it less safe for uh, genuine victims? Absolutely, and this is the problem. It's the system which is wrong. It's the way that the government processes these things, considers these applications. That is the problem. So mm. we need tight controls. And we should consider certifying the, those claims at the same time mm. as the asylum claim. So both the trafficking claim yeah. and the asylum claim are both certified as clearly unfounded.